Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Block. Today I'm going to show you installation of uh, VMware Workstation 11, which is new. I, I previously uninstalled the Workstation 10 that I have been using. And I did a reboot, reboot of the computer. So I do a clean installation, but uh, I did um, during the uninstall process I told uh, the uninstaller to keep the settings and the licensing information of the workstation 10 while I don't have the workstation 11 license yet so I'll be in um, demo I'm in trial mode, some period, uh, 44 days as you can see. So this is the EVO, but as you can see, the, all the settings uh, have been retained. retained and uh, I can use it straight away. See, version 11, final build. It's quite changed. You, see, you can see the icons and uh, the overall graphics are quite um, different workstation. I'm running the latest build of uh, Windows 10 for testing. And um, obviously uh, I'm going to be asked to To update VMware tools inside of the VM. Um, trying to have a look all those icons. Okay, let's get the update of the VMware tools. Windows 10 is quite nice, the user interface. There is a start menu, finally. So possibly Microsoft is going to get it right. Uh, Workstation 10 uh, has a new requirement. It has to be installed on 64-bit CPUs only. because uh, VMware has added some performance enhancements that makes the Workstation 11 1.4 times faster than the Workstation 10, the previous release. While I cannot possibly show the difference, but you can see it's quite fast. Uh, Overall, I'm running the workstation on uh, Sandy Bridge CPU with six cores, and there is a 64 gigabytes of RAM, so I can spin on quite a lot of VMs on it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.